Welcome back to another episode of the Hotel Fit Show. I'm Leo Amrim and I'm here to help you improve your physical and mental health around your crazy hospitality schedule. And just to wrap up from yesterday's training session, we went over the crucial role your health and fitness have on your performance at work, why this was so important for you to, to take the next step and improve in your career or hospitality business, how fitness success and health is directly correlated to your uh, hospitality success in the hospitality industry. And we've talked about like some examples of what successful people do and what they don't do, both in hospitality and in fitness. And also in general, why all the big CEOs of those great companies that you hear about, why do they all exercise often? Because they know it is a big component in their success and why you should start thinking about following this type of mindset to improve yourself as well. So if you haven't watched part one yet, I recommend you do scroll down in the group and go watch the part one and then come back. And so we previously uncovered the why, like why fitness can be the propulsor for your success. And today we're going to dive in into what are the solutions? What can you start doing right now? What can you specifically start doing right now as a manager or chef or director or supervisor, supervisor in hospitality or someone who is a, a hospitality um, a business owner? Also, um, you want to grab a pen and paper if you got it around as there's going to be a lot of information here, okay? So let's dive in. So I was telling you in part one of this training back in 2016, when I started exercising and making a real effort to improve my health, I started seeing big changes in the way I performed at work. The mental clarity, the thinking faster, being, uh, being better when interacting with customers, being able to, to carry on more responsibilities. And that's when it kind of clicked for me. And back then I have absolutely no clue, no clue about nutrition. I was eating cheese sandwiches and soup. I was doing an excessive amount of cardio. And I was doing this because I was coming back from being obese. And that's what I thought was the solution because I had no clue. Uh, and later on, I figured out that aesthetically speaking, it wasn't the solution because I got too skinny. But on the other hand, I knew I had seen so many improvements at work uh, ever since I had started exercise and improvements in life that I needed to continue doing some form of exercise and continue that as a part of my life. So one of the best things I've ever done after that uh, was to use exercise as leverage to quit smoking. I, had, I, I was smoking a pack of cigarettes per day uh, for the last eight years when I quit. And, and before that, like one of the things, like it, it was one of the things that I knew that was very wrong that I needed to address and change. So being doing exercise regularly, I used, I used that um, to, st to stop smoking. And that gave me like a fantastic sense of achievement because I thought it was like really hard to do that. Uh, and when I finally like accomplished that, I, I gained a lot of self-trust. I felt like I could do anything. And so with that mindset, I became better and better each week, like with the fitness stuff and proportionally better and better at work. And I knew I had found something there. I knew that my life was going to be very different from then. And things started kind of falling into places like where I wasn't uh, spending any more on cigarettes and booze. I, I saved, I saved a lot and managed to, to buy um, a car, like a convertible uh, Mercedes that I, I, I always wanted in a car. And so uh, seeing that manifested like in front of me, being able to achieve that was like another step that gave me momentum and to like reinforce that idea that fitness um, had like such an important uh, role. And the year later, I got promoted and now I had two people reporting to me. The year uh, after that, I had up to 12 people uh, per shift reporting to me as a supervisor. And about kind of a year and a half after that, I was promoted to guest service manager. So I, like it was a pretty decent uh, stroll of things. So uh, just to give you an idea, I had my salary raised four times in three years ever since I started using fitness and when I was still working in hospitality. Um, and I don't think that was uh, a coincidence. And that's why today I have a really strong reason to want you to do this for you too. Uh, for my clients, got promoted last year as well, which is something that is like absolutely impressive. And although they are all hard workers and have lots of potential, the extra fitness confidence that they carried over to their professional life as a result was definitely uh, extra leverage. And so if you're watching me right now and you're feeling inspired and motivated, comment uh, 10x down below. And that lets me know that you, you get where I'm coming from. Now, 
I'm going to move on a little bit from the mindset stuff and start giving you some fundamentals uh, and which things in fitness you should be looking at in order to get that leverage and increase your potential at work. So apart from the character traits, uh, I mentioned some of them yesterday, the character traits that you will transmit from fitness to your hotel or restaurant, there's one thing that you must absolutely um, have when implementing your fitness strategy, and that is consistency. Whether you choose to exercise every single day before work or only two times per week on your days off, it needs to be consistent, whatever it is. You need to form the habit of showing up for it every single week on a designated days decided by you, even when you don't want to, okay? And you're not gonna want it a lot of times. And you need to form the, the habit of making and keeping those types of uh, commitments to yourself. And by doing this, by you keeping your word, you'll be able to have that inner confidence that will then be carried over to work where you know that you'll always follow through like, you always finish what you start and um, like you're, you're not going to be perfect. You're not always going to, to, to make it happen because you're a human being and sometimes you will fail, but you always make sure to stick to your word. When you say that you're going to do something, you're going to do something. And that's really, really important. On the same level as consistency, it's important that you have goals, obviously. I'm not saying this. Uh, as a cliche, because I'm a fitness coach, but because when you have small goals and you beat them over and over, you'll gain momentum and self-reliance in yourself, which is also something really important for you to be successful at work. Because now when you set up a goal, you know within uh, that you have the capacity to make it to, to make it happen. And it's super important, guys, because you need to believe in yourself. At the end of the day, you are the only per person in the world that needs to believe it. Um, the next thing, and I hope you're taking notes on your side, as you progress on your fitness and pay attention to this is like super important. It's kind of a bonus thing that I uh, decided to add it in here. As you progress on your fitness, you will, I guarantee you, in one way or another, progress at work or business. So at this point, you need to make sure everyone knows about it, okay? You need to be seen as a force to be reckoned. You need to be seen uh, as a leader or someone that people can look up to. Uh, and a really powerful way that you can do this is by being on top of your game on LinkedIn and sharing your stuff in there. And I know that right now you might be thinking, why would I use LinkedIn? I'm not looking for another job. I don't even like posting stuff. I don't even like to be active on social media that much. What's in it for me? And here's why you should do it. Picture this. In the old days, you would have to attend numerous live events throughout the year to make connections in the hospitality industry. You would need to go to expos and seminars and workshops and brand-specific events and trainings, you name it. Nowadays, you can connect with pretty much any decision maker in any hospitality brand or business in any dem demographic in the freaking world in like three minutes. And uh, is, is this making sense so far? Like for you, if you're watching this, this is making sense. Let me know in the comments below. Comment yes, if this is making sense. Now, what you want to do is have your profile up to date and share all the positive things that you achieve. And you, you'll understand this later. Uh, so what kind of things that can you share and like should share? Is your name or your restaurant in a newspaper? So post it, share it. Is your photo online somewhere in a website? Post it, share it. Are you featured in an article or magazine? Share it. Uh, if you didn't get one of this and you have learned an important um, lesson over the past 10 years in your career, something important that you like could be interesting, share it. And make sure basically you're blasting all of that stuff out for your connections to see while at the same time, uh, connecting with new people, new peers and decision makers in the industry in order for you to expand your network, network and give you some more visibility. And, and basically now that you're leveraging your fitness to become better, you need to squeeze in that, that, that momentum and get as much as you can from it. So if you're not on LinkedIn right now, my advice is go for it, update your profile, put a nice professional photo up and start sharing that because here's what's going to happen next. You'll start gaining notoriety in your demographic. Recruiters will reach out to you. Potential business partners know you. And if you need anything, you have doors open that you didn't have before because that's what LinkedIn, LinkedIn is for. It's a wonderful tool. Uh, I think more, more people should be taking advantage of that, seriously. 
if you need any specific help on like setting up your uh, profile, I can also help you with that. So I've been using LinkedIn for a while now. Um, and just to give you a big example on how this can work uh, in a practical way. Basically, uh, one of the promotions that I got, I started applying for the exact same position on LinkedIn, the exact same position that I wanted, but I started applying on other properties. And I started applying, I started doing interviews, and finally I got a, a job offer. And as soon as I got the offer, I went to talk to the director I was reporting to and said, hey, listen, uh, I love working here, but I've been working hard to progress further in my career. And I feel like I'm ready for the next step. So I have this opportunity. I have this job offer for this position. I'm happy with this salary and I'm thinking about moving forward. And a couple of weeks later, I got offered the same exact position, in the same property, but with a better salary. And so that, that was really awesome. Uh, and that's one, one of the ways that you can use LinkedIn to leverage yourself and negotiate and kind of benchmark yourself and make the jump. And that's how I smoke some of my competitors, people that working alongside myself that have fancy degrees in fancy schools in Switzerland, uh, which they paid hundreds of thousands for um, hospitality management degrees. And they got left behind by, you know, a guy that's no big deal, you know, from the mountains in Portugal. And so uh, when fitness helps you get there, make sure you take advantage of it, seize the opportunity, just jump into it, go for it. Um, and I hope it's be, this is being uh, valuable to you. If it is, drop me a thumbs up, comment 10x down below. Now, I, I understand that I might be uh, extending my, my usual live stream time today, but I feel like this is such an important thing and life-changing, and I really want you to win. So the next thing, uh, the next thing, uh, big thing that you, you want to do to maintain all this system going is to always be on top of your schedule, okay? You're so busy all the time. The only way you're going to make this happen is to plan your exercise whenever um, you plan the rest of your life. And I'm serious. Like, I work with very busy clients, and this is the only way. If you lose that consistency, then you lose the momentum, and you're no longer using fitness as leverage. And um, listen, for example, if your goal is weight loss, it's going to happen sooner or later if you are consistent and don't treat yourself like a trash can when it comes to food, okay? If you um, are an above average professional and you are someone who seeks excellence, then seek excellence in all the other things that you do in your life. Otherwise, you always feel like you're an imposter or you always feel like you're missing something. So keep that in mind and keep your, your focus. And to wrap this up, I just wanna give you three last tips to complete your tool set. Uh, never overlook the power of good sleep, good hydration, and the capacity to manage your stress, okay? A good sleep hygiene is key. If you sleep well at night and have sufficient sleep time, the rest of your life will just be plain easier. Uh, hydration, always keep a bottle of water next to you. If you drink a gallon a day, you'll put your body in a position to burn fat more rapidly. And the leaner you get, the sharper you get. And the last one, stress management. And basically, exercise and a healthier lifestyle and being more active are 100% going to help you with that already. So if you, uh, so like, if you're thinking that you need meditations or wellness walks or journaling, you don't need all of that. Like all of this, like of course, if you do the, if you do it, it will help. But if you feel like you're uh, vulnerable to stress, just focus. Start by focusing on, on your goals instead. Like progress overall, like upgrade your health and you'll improve on stress um, automatically because if you push yourself to climb and compete both physically and mentally, as you do that, you'll see that whatever is stressing you out and all those negative voices have less and less power over you, okay? So the naysayers will fall to the wayside as you regain control of your mood, your body, uh, your career, your business or um, your life or everything, okay? My advice to you is don't accept self-limiting beliefs, don't accept limitations, keep working, don't give up, especially not on yourself, okay? If you want to be the best, you have to be your best self, so keep pushing. Uh, now, to start out, there's many things that you can do. You can start and go and, and do some research online. You can use a lot of the resources that I've been putting in the group for the last several months. Uh, at this point, if you look into it, you'll know everything about nutrition, so you can bootstrap as well and find your way. I'm sure you can uh, put in some effort and do it. The question for you is, do you want to just try to chill yourself on your own uh, and risk taking six to seven years like myself with trial and error? Or do you want to do it in six months? 
Okay, there's an expression that says you wait in a barbershop long enough, you'll eventually get yourself a haircut. The question is, how long do you want to wait? So if you want my advice to fast track this process, and if what I just said gave you any inspiration to start trying something different, or can actually work, um, uh, something that can actually work around your busy hospitality schedule, comment the word me below. And that lets me know that you're interested in learning more about this and that this is something that you need. And that will uh, just tell me uh, that you know you want to change and that this is something that you would like help with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a message and we're going to just talk about what might be some right steps for you. What is it that you can start implementing right now to improve your fitness and consequently your professional and personal life? So definitely watch out for my message. If you're here and if you think this is something that you need to apply, just comment the word me and watch for my message. And if you have any other questions, of course, please reach out. Like I said, I'm here in this community to serve you. And so I'm very excited that you joined today. Again, smash that like button if this was something that was helpful for you. Keep being awesome and I will see you on the flip side. Thank you so much for listening. And if you found this content valuable, you can find additional help for free by joining the hospitality fitness community on Facebook at thehotelfit.com or facebook.com slash hospitality fitness community. There's a ton of cool stuff happening as well as a massive amount of free resources and information. So join us at the hospitality fitness community.